Yeah, I really like that because and, the whole thing is gone. You're going to say, I was just, just, just going to say, I think there's probably a time 10, 15 years ago where I'd have thought, no, going in and just coming up and being like, this is it, is what to do. But that's, that's definitely not. It's the, the whole collaboration piece just makes things better. Yeah, and I think there's a bit of vulnerability in that, isn't there, as well? Like, you know, being open for you to change your perspective and accepting that actually that, that your way may be a little bit outmoded but actually how can you build on that maybe maybe not entirely scrap it but it might be that you need to rethink something that will make it even better right um, some old paradigms i suppose and that vulnerability is, actually... is a good word i like that do you like that I yeah, do. yeah it's these old, old scripts that we have that we you know the way we've always done it right the way we've always done things and we get into a pattern and um this sort of thinking and this sort of synergy will actually when people say oh we should try this will actually make you look at your patterns and your paradigms and actually think oh maybe i need to do need to like revisit that and actually what you're talking about change the way i'm thinking about certain things and that can create a new way of thinking and a better way of thinking um, an improved way of thinking um, and that's why we need that friction um, and actually that vulnerable ability piece talks about that trust and respect so when we talk about that diagram the trust is like when you're vulnerable and you say hey look i've tried this this didn't work or you know, I'm open to, to change, then you build trust and say, you know, in fact, in one of these sessions I had today, um, you know, I was I was actually talking to people, we talk about leadership today, um, I had a leadership induction that I, I, that I run, and I was being open and honest about the, the mistakes that I made in leadership. And, uh, and, and when I did that, I, you could see the trust build in the room, and I do this quite a bit, because usually you have to, 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 build, to build trust, you need to go first with being vulnerable, and then other people will start to pile on on that and start to go, do you know what I've done this? Because, you know, that's the, another thing that Stephen talks about in his book. Be honest about where you are, what, you, what, what you're failing at um, or what you failed at because other people then say, do you know what, I've had trouble with that. And, and a lot of times, a lot of people have had the same challenges. Thank you for the likes, by the way, Stop Motions, and ask a question. I really appreciate it. So I was talking about, in fact, I'll tell you what the example was. And this created a great discussion. I actually remember running a team and... Um, I said, I don't know if I told this one before, but I remember there was a per there was a person in my team, and they were not performing very well at all. And this is a story I tell quite a lot of my leadership inductions to to say, to, to, hey, look, I'm running this session, but by all means, I am still learning, just like you. And um, this person wasn't performing, so what I said to them was, I said to them, your failure is my failure. I don't know, uh, Lee. Can you guess what happened as a result? Can you guess what their performance happened to their performance when I said that? Oh, I've broken oh, camera broke my camera. I'm still here though. Are we I'm, still there? All right. Okay. Can you have a, I'm can guessing, have a... I'm guessing, Joe, that their performance either stayed where it was or maybe even got even worse than it was in the first place before you had that conversation. It did get worse. And what do you think they did when I said, oh, you, you know, when I sort of chat, not chatted, I suppose the word was when I, when we, when we started to review the performances, I think Lee's back, back we, I can't see him. When we started to review the performance, what do you think there, what do you think? What do you think? Um, how, where do you think they? What do you think they thought they said the reason was for their low performance? Their continued low performance off the back. I would dare say, Joe, that they would say it's not their fault; it's your fault because yeah, you've already said. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. What I did is I took accountability away from them, um, and they then they clearly just said, "Well, it's all your fault." They didn't have to do any work, right? So that's one of the stories I tell, and when I tell that story. I start to get other, you know, I start to get other other people talking about what they are great at. They weren't great at what's happened, what they've learned, how they've learned. So going back to this whole piece about synergy, it is all about being vulnerable. You know, try and accept that you, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be right quite a lot of the time, um, and being open and creating that win-win scenario and building on people's ideas because. You know, once you hear their idea, you might incorporate a bit of your idea. So the the, the, the the whole point of this is to build an idea that's off the back of both your ideas, so you get something that's that you know. You're, like you said, like Lee said, a lot of time your idea is not going to be the greatest idea. It's when you m merge the ideas to start discussing it, that's when the good idea comes. And actually, in the book, he talks about when they did this synergistic thing for a corporate uh, mission statement. That actually went up high into the mountains, and they then they started talking about this this mission statement, but what they did, they were very vulnerable, they were very open and honest, and they created an environment where they could just really, really be honest about what this mission statement should be. And uh, you should go read that, because it's a really inspiring piece of the book.